Okay, I'm gonna do a quick uh, walkthrough video with iWeb here. Uh, I'm just gonna show you a couple uh, tips and tricks that I've learned. Um, first one is here in the color picker, if you're looking to match a uh, color somewhere in your web design, that this little magnifying glass here is actually a color picker. And if you click on that, you get this magnifying glass, and then anywhere that you click, you can actually select that color. Now since it was already orange, I'm gonna just say, pick the sky color here, and it'll pick that color. And then these boxes down here at the bottom, if you're using a uh, color frequently in your web designs, you can simply drag this color down in the box, and now it'll save that down there to where now instead of just like the web colors that you have here or any other palettes, you actually have the colors down here as well. Uh, another quick tip would be with the inspector. And in the inspector, you can have just the, the things across, but say that you want to have the photos tab open as well as the text. If you hold down the option key and click the text inspector, you can actually have them both open to where now you have two inspectors at the same time. Um, another uh, interesting uh, deal is if I click here on this image, if I hold the option key while clicking on that image and drag, it actually duplicates it. Um, and then if you want to have multiple images across an area, so I'm going to use that option, and I'm going to use that option again, and that option again. I'm going to have four motorcycles across the top here. Now I'm going to line up this one on the outside. Now if I select all four of these, I'm just holding down the shift key to select multiple. If I come up here to arrange, I can distribute horizontally, and that will equal the space between the four items. This one's not quite all the way up against the edge, so I'll move that up against the edge, line that up there, and then I'll do that again, and it will actually even out the space in between the four items there. And that can be done with text boxes, or images, or shapes for that matter. And that's just a couple uh, quick tips for uh, lining up things in iWeb or using other features in iWeb. Also, if you're creating a website and you want things to line up the same way on multiple pages, if you get one page laid out the way that you would like it to lay out, you can simply click on that page and duplicate. And now things are in the same, and then you could start changing the text. So that way you could your, your uh, navigation all lines up exactly where you want it to be so it's just less like work down the road and everything just lines up for a little bit more professional looking website. Um, feel free to drop me any questions for anything iWeb related and I'll do my best to answer those uh, for you in a relatively quick manner. Thanks again for watching.